really good practice this morning. Uh, yesterday what we decided to do is we came out and we did just a little bit of work and then got them out of here. Uh, the plan, as you guys know, was to go to the pool, but they were having a, a senior citizens like work out the joints moment in the pool, so we couldn't. <laughs> we actually couldn't go to the pool, which I think the players probably enjoyed. Uh, they got to go back to their rooms and rest for a while. Then last night we went and saw uh, Denzel's movie that comes out in September. Uh, the uh, what's it Equalizer. called? The Equalizer. One of the best movies I've ever seen. Okay, unbelievable movie. And then they came out today, and I was really proud of them because they were focused right back in. It was really a mental day in terms of special teams, all the situations we went through. We worked a couple team periods, and they did a good job. Tonight we'll have a full pads practice, and then tomorrow uh, we'll have our mock game, and we'll do that on the lower field, and the fans will be out here, and it'll be a, it'll be a good deal. So really pleased with where we are. Got guys coming back from the minor Knicks. Um, as far as going back and comparing injuries to the last two camps, we're, <laughs> we're in much better shape this year than we ever were. So that's really encouraging. I like the way they've worked. So everything's good. How's everything with Devin this year? Good. He uh, passed a concussion test this morning. Uh, he's rehydrated. Um, we're hopeful that on Monday he'll be back out there practicing. Might put him in a red jersey. But the, the plan right now, unless something changes, and it always can change, is to have him back out there on Monday. You know, it was a little bit of a head injury combined with the heat. And uh, the great thing about Devin is he recovered very, very quickly. I and mean, he wants to be out here. It's like you have to, you have to hold him back. How is uh, Zach Lilly doing? Good. He ran on the side today, so that was the final step in his progression towards getting back on the field. So I don't know if we'll put him back out there tonight. If we do, it would probably be in a red jersey, uh, but he should be, we're hopeful he'll be ready to go Monday. And Scott Questenberry, I think he's the only one we had. Scott had a, uh, you know, he got a minor concussion, if you can call any concussion minor. I don't think you can, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a horrible one. Uh, you know, our hope is that he can be back out there on Monday as well. But he's doing really well. Jake's doing well. Jake's w walking almost without a limp. You know, he's over on the bike. He's doing all of those things. So, you know, everything's real positive. Uh, Simon's surgery went, went well, and uh, he's on the road to recovery. So it's very encouraging right now, very encouraging. Alex Redman, more just an emergency thing for him? Yeah, well, you know, when uh, Jake's down and then Quiz is down and then Carl, you know, he's still recovering. Uh, we slid Rit, uh, Alex in there and he's done a nice job. I think he's only had one poor snap and he looks very natural and he's making the calls and I think it really it kind of forced him out of his comfort zone, forced him to learn how to make calls and I think it'll end up helping him when he moves back to guard, he'll have a broader perspective on, on his position. So I think it's a positive. Mm -hmm. That punter spot, Adam Searle's taking a lot of reps at punter. Have you, is that an open competition? Yeah, Adam looks good. You know, Matt looks good. I think Stefan looks good. You know, I think all three of those guys do. I think that um, Stefan looks good as a as a place kicker too. You know, I think we're we're in really good shape at those positions right now. We just have to decide who it's going to be. You know, I feel good about our snapper Longo. So uh, it was a real unknown. It was I was very concerned coming into camp, but after you know watching them here for the last week and a half, I feel like we're going to be in good shape there. But I was I was concerned to say the least. Was there some scrambling when you, when Sean wasn't a part of the picture anymore? Or? Well, um, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we were kind of, you know things, you know, and the way things are going, and you, you know, you have a little bit of a clue that something might be up. So we were, you know, trying to get our ducks in a row. And, uh, but when it did happen and he did leave, I mean, it wasn't like we just slid a guy in. We had to go, you know, figure out how we were going to make it work, and we were lucky to get, um, couple things. First of all, to get Stefan to come here instead of go to the other school, and then to get Matt to come here instead of going to the couple other schools that were after him. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know, Adam is a guy that's very, very improved. You know, I mean, he looks like a guy that can actually get it done. Last year he was inconsistent, his leg strength wasn't great, but he's had a really good off season and he's worked hard and, and I trust him. What have you seen from uh, Jefferson playing corner in the next year? Well, we just move him out there to give him reps every once in a while. You know. We, our, our depth chart, I would just caution anybody to not read anything into the depth chart, really at any position. I mean, there's certain guys that we know and you guys know are going to be starters, but we try to move guys around and get some position versatility. So lately we've been working um, AJ out at corner a little bit. Jaleel was getting some work at safety today. Tahan did. This afternoon it might just be completely jumbled. So um, really... There's nothing that's set in stone uh, in terms of 
you know, how we're going to use guys, where we're going to use them. We're trying to work through scenarios. Like I said, get them position versatility, get them comfortable playing different spots. That's kind of what training camp's about. Um, when I look at our secondary, though, you know, I see nine guys that I think can all play and help us win. And to me, that's encouraging. I know you said eight a week ago. Who's the ninth? Uh, Jalen Ortiz. I think he's really stepped up. I kind of forgot him about when we talked last time. I think Jalen has really done a nice job in transition. Um, you know, it's not as natural for him yet as the other guys because they've been doing it a lot longer and they did it through spring. But um, Jalen's a good player. I think he's going to be good out there. You know, he's got good good man cover skills. He stays close. Mm -hmm. so. Coach, can you talk about that backup quarterback position? What do you want to know? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? What do you think? Uh, I feel like uh, Jerry and Ashante and Mike Faithful have all really made tremendous progress this camp. You know, I was standing out there today thinking about how far Ashante's come. You know, you remember last year he came in and when he was doing just doing drills where there's no no one coming at him. I mean, he looked great. You know, he could spin it and we were all fired up. But then when the chaos started happening around him, it was a little bit tough on him. This year. It's different, and it's gotten different really the last few days. You know, he looks so much more comfortable and more in command. So I just think it's uh, it's positive to have, you know, those three guys behind Brett that I that I all have, I have confidence in all of them. That's good. Yeah. Okay, thanks, cool. man.